Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the ping command to find the IP address for a domain name. And I'll actually go a little bit deeper than that. All you need is a terminal window of some sort. If you're on Windows, go down to the search bar and type in CMD, and then click on open to open the command prompt. And if you're on Mac or Linux, use the search feature to open up the terminal application. Okay, so if you got that set up, let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial and we will do our first ping command. We will type ping, P-I-N-G, and then a domain name, google.com. Hit enter and you will see that this is returning the IP address for Google. So in this case, the IP address for Google is 142.250.189.14. And this is gonna go on forever. If you wanna stop it on a Windows keyboard, do control C on a Mac keyboard type command C and that'll exit you back to your terminal session. So what's really cool is you can take this IP address, open up a web browser like this one here and type in that IP address and that should load the Google's website. So there we go. Instead of typing google.com and pretty much for any website, you can type in the IP address as well to go to that website. Now it's a lot easier to remember google.com, but under the hood, that's actually what's happening an IP address. So. Uh, we can also do something else similar to that. We can do ping Tony teaches tech. That's another domain name. This has a different IP address because it's hosted on a different server. So we'll do command or control C to get out of that. What's also cool is you can ping an IP address. So uh, the DNS server for Google is 8.8.8.8. .8 and if we do that, we can simply ping their DNS server. Now, how do I know that that's their DNS server? Well, if you noticed in that last page that was briefly up on your screen, uh, the IP address of the DNS, Google's public DNS server is, one of them is 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 and one is 8.8.4.4. .8 .4. So that's just a cool bit of information. Now you can do a lot more with ping than just pinging uh, domain names and IP addresses in the default sense. We can also set the interval that we want ping to happen. So by default, it's one second, but we can set that interval to be five seconds. So let's ping Google every five seconds. So that's gonna ping once, wait five seconds, and then ping Google again. And that'll go on forever and ever. Now we can speed up that interval. We can do uh, like a 10th of a second for google.com and that's gonna happen a whole heck of a lot quicker. And you can see sometimes, uh, we'll break right here, sometimes there's a timeout. So that happens if your internet connection or the external internet connection has uh, some issues with the amount of time that it's taking to get there. So in addition to that, we can also ping, um, we can, you know, how I was saying you can, this will this will run on forever and ever and ever. We can tell ping to stop after a certain amount of times or counts. So ping dash C specifying three times will ping Google just three times. And then after that, it'll return back to your terminal session. So that's obviously configurable. You can pick any number that you want. Something else cool that you can do with ping is uh, have it play an audible beep. So you can do the ping dash A uh, flag to have it beep every time it pings. So Google, if I can spell, dot com. So I don't know what the usefulness for that could be, uh, but it's a feature. And now let's, uh, like I was saying, this is gonna take 64 bytes and send it to Google. Uh, what if we wanted to send 100 bytes to Google? Well, we can do that with ping dash S100 for the size of the, the packets that we're gonna send and then we'll send that to google.com. Um, and it says wrong total length 96 instead of 128. So I'm not actually sure why Google doesn't like that, but that is something that you could successfully do. Let's try to ping uh, my website with 100 bytes of data. So tonyteaches.tech, and that will ping it with 100 bytes of data. Uh, and that includes an eight byte header, okay? So as you can see, if we just ping tonyteaches.tech with the default uh, 64 bytes, uh, the difference between 64 and 56 is eight. So that's the eight byte header that they're adding on there. If you wanna know a little bit more about how to use different commands, networking commands, I have a couple other videos, including using the dig command to look up DNS records. So check that out next. Let me know if you have any questions about this in this tutorial. I'll do my best to help you out. Subscribe for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.